Hi everyone, and welcome to Gwen Collects. So if you were unaware, on Sunday, or I guess Saturday, my time here in North America, we actually were witness to One Fest or Wonder Festival, the summer 2023 edition. And Wonder Festival is essentially a giant figure festival where all the different companies come together and show all of their prototypes, announcements, all that kind of stuff. So it's a very, very exciting time for the community. I always love when they have the big figure events because I can go online and just see everyone like on Twitter and on my figure collection and on Discord just be like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So anyway, it's a very fun time. And as usual, I usually go through and talk about all the different announcements. Uh, the last video I made was actually pretty recently in May with Good Smiles One Hobby, and I was actually there in person, which was super fun. I will link that video above, but I'm not there in person right now. Sadly, I'm back in Canada. So I will just be reacting to all of the announcements, the same as all of you on the internet. So I've made a list on my figure collection of all of the announcements that I'm excited about. Um, maybe the ones that I thought were kind of odd, and I would like to go through them all with you. I'd love to go through every single announcement, and I know I will probably miss some that you guys are excited about. So please, in the comments, tell me which announcements you are most excited about. Um, I'd love to start a discussion down there, but I can't go through the hundred plus different figures that were announced unless you guys want to sit here for a five hour video. <laughs> so I've made a list. I think it's still about 48 figures long, so don't worry. I'm going to talk about a lot today, but I made a list of all of the announcements that I'm excited about, and I'm gonna go through it with you all here today. So I guess without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so I've popped myself down in this bottom corner here so that you can still see me as I react to these amazing announcements. <laughs> um, and here is my list on my figure collection. So this list will be linked in the description below so you can go through and look at all of these figures. Uh, that's easier than me individually linking every single figure, which I did in the past and took forever. So yeah, you guys can check out my list here uh, through the link on my figure collection. And yeah, I guess let's get right into it. These are in no specific order, just really the order like I remembered them in, and I think the order that um, my figure collection puts them in. Uh, so let's start with this one. So okay. First up, we have the Evangelion Asuka Radio Ava versions. This is part three. As you guys know, I am a huge fan of the Radio Ava figures. I have a bunch in my details right behind me here. Um, they're just such cool, fun streetwear figures. I'm obsessed with them. I love them so much. And of course, these figures have been very successful because I'm not alone in loving them. And a while ago, they did announce that they were doing this set. So this is the Radio Ava part three. Um, and honestly, from this set, I'm not as keen on their outfits, but I do love the Asuka uh, and the Rey. So it's exciting that they have shown us both Asuka and Rey's prototypes. We can look, check them out here. And they look super nice. Uh, Hobby Max always does a good job. I've never been disappointed in any of their figures, so I knew they would do a good job on these, but the sculpts look really, really, really nice. I think Volume 2 is still my fave when it comes to these Radio Eva figures, but... These are, these are looking pretty nice. Next up, we have this one. It is the Zetai Junpaku Maho Shoujo Misa Suzuhara made swimsuit style by Quest Q. So if you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of Raita and I love Raita's designs. This is a hentai doujin that these are based off of. So yeah, but they announced a while ago that they'd be making figures from the series and they did show the prototypes. I, Wow, there's no picture of the prototype from this most recent One Fest on here. But yeah, they did show the prototypes recently uh, at Wonder Festival, so I thought I would put them in. I also have Erica in here somewhere, I think. Maybe not, actually. Maybe I just put Misa, because I was going to talk about them both. But they showed both Erica and Misa unpainted, and I, again, every time I see these, I'm like, I will buy them. I want them so bad. So yeah thought I would just shout those out once again. Next up, we have the Fate Grand Order Baoban? Bao? Baoban? Sith? No idea who she is, but I have seen artwork of her and she is so pretty. She's got a very like cool vibe to her here. This is the artwork that she's based on. I really, really like the art. I don't know who the artist is. It doesn't say, 
but her art is just super cool. I think she's so edgy, so fun. And also a Nendoroid got announced of her, if you guys are wondering. But yeah, Amakuni has announced a scale of her and I think she looks so cute. I'm really excited to see what they do with this. I think it's gonna be really, really nice. So yeah, she's very different for a, for a um, fate character. I feel like fate characters don't usually look like this. So I'm, I'm intrigued. And it has really started storming outside. So I apologize if you guys hear like thunder or see like lightning because it is storming and it is also nighttime right now. So anyway, next up we have a Marin Kitagawa figure. There were quite a few um, My Dress Up Darling figures announced at this Wonder Festival and I want to buy them all, if I'm gonna be quite honest with you guys. Uh, this one though is especially high on the list. It is by Max Factory who always do an amazing job with their figures. Like Max Factory can do no wrong in my eyes. And this Marin is so cute. I'm obsessed with her. She's got the very like bubbly, cute vibes that Marin usually has. And just the wink, the smile, everything about it is so cute. I do have her other school uniform figure by Aniplex ordered, but I think I might like this one more. We'll have to see. But this one is really, really, really cute and I'm kind of obsessed with it and I also want this one. We'll see. But yeah, super cute by Max Factory. I'm excited to see that painted. Ooh, okay, next up we have the Bungo Stray Dogs, Dazai Osamu and Chuya figures, the 15 years old version. Now I'm not fully caught up with Bungo Stray Dogs. We have both of them here, so Dazai and Chuya. I'm not fully caught up with Bungo Stray Dogs, but I'm not 100% certain we ever see them as 15 year olds in the show. I could be completely wrong. Maybe it's in the manga. I just don't recall seeing them. Please let me know in the comments, but I'm obsessed with these figures. I don't know if they were just like some kind of random illustration that the manga artist did, but I'm obsessed with these figures. I think they both look bomb. I love Chuya's like jacket and everything. And then Dazai's like vibe is just so nice. Like look at him. Oh, he looks so freaking good. And I always trust Katakawa. I think Katakawa, yeah. I always trust Katakawa to do a nice job with their figures that they're manufacturing. So I'm very, very excited to see these up for pre-order. Hopefully they're not too expensive because I love them and I really want them. So yeah, but yeah, definitely going to get Doll's Eye, maybe both because they are really, really cute. I do really like them. I need to know the context for these, honestly. Also, it's just nice to see male figures, you know? So yeah, talked about Chuya as well. Next up, we have an elf girl from Vertex. So I've been waiting for them to paint this one for ages. I loved the original artwork that she's based on. This is an Asanagi illustration and it is the dark elf Mura. I guess her name is Mercedes. And she's really cute, although her eyes look wonky as hell in this photo. Wait, what? Did her eyes look that wonky? Okay, they look much better in real life. <laughs> <laughs> just in that like low res photo they look super wonky but look at how beautiful she is i'm always a fan of the dark elf girls i love some tanned skin tones in my collection because they are woefully lacking in the anime figure world i wish they would show more love for tanned figures but whatever um, and she's so cute i love her i will probably pre-order her although these ones can be kind of expensive so we'll see she doesn't really go that well in my collection i don't have any other elf girls but I'm, I'm willing to make an exception for this figure because I love her. I think she is so cute, so fun, and just like the white outfit with her beautiful skin is just, it's just gorgeous. So yeah, very excited about that. Moving on, we have a figure by Annie Gift, and it is based on an orig original illustration by Rurudo. I know Rurudo has been super popular. A couple of their illustrations have been made into figures recently, and they are so popular and expensive on the aftermarket. Um, I've been waiting for a good Rerudo figure that I want to pre-order to come out. And I think this one might just be it. Rerudo's known for their very soft, feminine, just kind of ethereal illustrations. I actually bought the art book and it's called Unreal. And I feel like Unreal is a very good way to describe her. It is pouring so much outside right now. Holy. Hopefully you guys like some background rain sounds in this video. <laughs> like the lightning, oh my god. <laughs> anyway. Um, oh my god, now there's dog dogs barking. This is such a disaster. But I want to get this video recorded. Oh well, bear with me, you guys. Anyway, what was I saying? Rerudo, I love their illustrations. And this one is just so pretty. I'm obsessed with her wings. I'm obsessed with, like, the 
the the garters, the bodysuit, how it's kind of like open and then she has like the belt kind of across the nips. Here's the illustration that it's based on. Oh, she's so cute. I'm obsessed with her. I think she's so adorable. I love how pouty she is, how soft. Oh, I love her. Mm, I'm obsessed. Okay, I think this will finally be my Rerudo that I that I buy. Speaking of little devil girls, we also have a Marin from My Dress Up Darling. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge My Dress Up Darling fan. I guess you would know because I was just talking about the Marin by Max Factory. Um, but her, uh, what is this? She's cosplaying Liz. Is it Liz Chan? Liz Kuhn? The, the succubus. She's cosplaying a succubus in this. And I actually cosplayed this look. <laughs> so this is, it's got a special place in my heart, this, this Marin look. So I'm super, super excited to get this figure. The sculpt looks absolutely fantastic. And Spiritail always delivers. Like I'm, I'm in love with Spiritail's works, honestly. So I will definitely be picking up this gorgeous girl because just wow like look at that sculpt her face is perfect the hair her like stomach sculpt mm, it's perfect i'm obsessed she will be coming home with me as soon as she goes up for pre-order next up for my oshinoko fans we got quite a few announcements but my favorite of them all is this one of ruby i'm not caught up on the show my fiance and i watched the first episode and we were kind of iffy on the whole premise <laughs> but I hear it's so good, so I think we need to get back into it. Um, but I do love this figure of Ruby. I think it'll look really cute with the figure that you can't see here, but she already went up for pre-order, I believe, and it's um, of I. So I, I really love Ruby's though. I like the kind of more gothic idol look. I think it's super cute. And I just love her character design with her like one star eye. So I'm super, super in love with this design and I'm excited to see. I think it'll hopefully be a pretty reasonable, reasonable price as well because eyes is quite a reasonable price, I believe. Next up we have probably my most hype announcement that I saw. I am a huge fan of Lycoris Recoil uh, and especially of Chisato from Lycoris Recoil. So to see that Claynell, who is Revolve, one of my favorite manufacturers, is making the Hawaii version of her. Oh, I'm so happy. I can die happy. I'm obsessed with this. The sculpt looks fantastic. And if I know anything about Claynell slash Revolve, because they've renamed, um, they're gonna just knock this out of the park with the paint job. And she will be in instant pre-order. And they also announced that they're gonna be making Takina as well. They didn't have an unpainted prototype of Takina yet, but they did announce her as well. So they will be coming home with me. I'm gonna have a full Lycoris recoil shelf and I'm not gonna be mad about it because I'm obsessed with them. Ooh, we also got to see the first look at a prototype of an illustration that I love that I think I've talked about before. So this is the illustration. It is for the Miku... Oh, I don't actually know what this was for. Some kind of like Miku Expo, I think. Uh, I'm obsessed with this design. I love the more like rocker Miku looks. I have the Tokyo Otaku mode, like lamb rock Miku. And I'm obsessed with this, this design and I think she's gonna look so good with the lamb rock Miku. So they did show this prototype of her and she looks fantastic. I love how they did the base. I was really interested to see how they would do the base. Um, and her hair just looks freaking incredible and like the, all the lightning around her. Ugh, I am obsessed with this design. I know it's gonna be incredibly expensive though, so I may not pre-order if it's like egregiously expensive, which it probably will be, but I do love her and I'm very, very excited to see this prototype. I think there's probably some better photos here. Yeah, like look at how good that looks. I'm obsessed with her face. Oh my God, I love her so much. I cannot wait to see her painted. I hope they paint her quick. I just realized I forgot to put this one on my list. Let me add it to the list right now. Uh, link. And it is the Hatsune Miku Senbon Zakura version. Senbon Zakura is a classic Vocaloid song and I have wanted the, there's a really old Senbon Zakura scale, but then they announced this one and she looks so gorgeous. Well, the last Miku, I was like, I maybe won't get her if she's too expensive. This Miku, I will probably get regardless of the price because I love, love, love this Miku design so much. I love this song so much and just, I'm so excited about this Miku. She looks gorgeous. I love the bass. I love her face. I love everything about it. So I'm very, very excited for the Senbon Sakura. Next up, we have another Miku. And this Miku, I saw the prototype in real life at the um, One Hobby Fest in May when I was in Japan, but they did show her painted prototype at this festival and she looks gorgeous. I do feel like the instruments coming up be from behind her look a little bit unfinished compared to the rest of the figure. I don't know. 
but she is really, really pretty. This is the Hatsune Miku happy 16th birthday version because it was her 16th birthday. And yeah, I think she's beautiful. I think for the big Miku fans, they will probably eat this up. I mean, I'm a huge Miku fan and I'm eating this up, so I feel all y'all. I don't think I'll pick it up just because I think there are other Mikus that I want more than this one and like I don't want a collection just entirely full of Mikus even though that would honestly be fantastic. I do think this Miku is absolutely stunning and if you're looking for a Miku in a more classic Miku fit, I think this is a really 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 gorgeous contender. Next up we have an original character by Reverse Studio. This is another one in their line of Mushroom Girls. And look at how cute she is. This is the Tamogitake mushroom. And she's so cute. I love her little sweater so much. Her little neck cardigan. Oh, I'm dying. She's so cute. She is so, 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 so adorable. And I love how all of them have little mushroom umbe umbrellas in this series. They're just way too cute. I really want to pre-order this one, but I've been able to hold back on these mushroom girls. It's getting harder and harder with everyone that releases because they're just so freaking cute. I cannot deal. Like, I want them all so badly. Okay, next up is one that was kind of announced before One Fest, but I'm including it in here because I want to talk about her. And it is the Makise Kurisu wedding dress version from Stein's Gate. I am so excited about this one. Not necessarily for myself. I probably won't buy this because I need to finish Stein's Gate before I start buying Stein's Gate figures. Uh, but just for all y'all, because I know there are so many Karisu fans out there, and this figure looks like it's going to be stunning. So I'm really, really excited about her for all of you big Karisu fans, because she's gorgeous. I love her soft face, and just the way her dress is sculpted, it looks beautiful. And I like the inclusion of, like, gears kind of everywhere, like, in her bouquet, and I see, like, on her garter there. I think it's going to be super pretty so i'm very excited to see what they do with this figure next up we have another miku there's quite a few mikus in this review i'm not gonna lie one that was again announced kind of right before one fest but i wanted to talk about them and it is the hatsune miku miku expo 2023 vr toy box version by design coco i'm obsessed with this design i feel like i've said that so many times today but i'm genuinely so in love with her i love my ballerina figures if you can't tell by my ballerina shelf up there uh, and this Miku is so pretty. I love the clown vibes. I love the ballet aesthetic. Um, I feel like this figure actually has pretty decent technique. My biggest pet peeve with a lot of ballet figures, even figures that I own, like the Skytube girls, is their technique is actually awful. But this Miku actually is like over the box of her point shoe. Her legs seem to be relatively turned out. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with the ballet technique. So I'm excited to see the prototype for this one. And she may be in order if it's not egregiously expensive, which again, probably will be. Next up, we have two figures announced by Amakuni. They are from One Punch Man and it is Tatsumaki and Fubuki, I think their names are. So I'm a big fan of One Punch Man. I've only seen the first season. I need to watch the second season still. But I love Tatsumaki, and I feel like she's woefully lacking in nice figures. I know Belfine put one up not too long ago, but I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of the one Belfine put up. It's it's okay. I like that it lights up, but I feel like the hair is a bit weird. I think the sculpt on this one is much better, and we all know Amakuni will do a good job because Amakuni never fails to deliver a beautiful product. So I'm pretty excited about these. I know a lot of One Punch Man fans are also very excited about these two. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see them in real life. I don't know if I'll pre-order them, but maybe I will. We'll see. I think price will play into it. All right, here we have one of the few L's I think that we saw. <laughs> at this um at this wonder festival and it is from mato saihei no slave no idea what that's even from uh character's name is uzen kyoka and pony canyon is making this one what is happening with that leg what is happening with that leg i do not know i cannot understand why they like i understand what she's doing but like there's nothing like very attractive about that pose. I don't know. It's so weird. I I need to see this from another angle because maybe it makes sense from a different angle, but it just looks so weird. I don't know. It's so bizarre. Like her foot is pointing the wrong 
way like like i know like physically i can do the pose she's doing but it's not like a sexy or graceful pose it's kind of an awkward pose like i don't know why they sculpted it like this and i think it's made even worse by the fact that her other leg is like twisted the other way i don't know it's very bizarre i i, I don't really get it tbh all right we're on to the third row <laughs> How long have I been filming at this point? 25 minutes already. Oh my god. These videos are hard to- like I try to go as fast as I can, but I still want to talk about the figures, you know? Okay, next up we have one- another one by Amakuni. Honestly, Amakuni was kind of slaying this Wonder Festival. I'm obsessed with so many of their designs. This one is from Sinanatsu. I don't know this origin, uh, but this character looks gorgeous. Another one illustrated by Asanagi. And she is so pretty. I'm obsessed with her. Wolf girls rise up. They are so cute. Holo, this chick. I'm, I'm just a sucker for wolf girls, you know? And ugh, the sculpt on this one, gorgeous. The outfit, gorgeous. I wonder if she'll be cast off. Let's hope so. <laughs> but yeah, love, love, love her face. Honestly, love everything about this figure. I'm very excited to see it go for pre-order. Hopefully it's not too expensive because she's beautiful. And then we have a Papa Parade Extra Large. So this is like quarter scale kind of figure. And it is of this Asuka Papa Parade. I don't know how to feel about this because on one hand, I'm excited for a quarter scale kind of size Asuka. But on the flip side, I wish they hadn't picked this design. I don't know. I just wish they picked a more classic Asuka design than the one where she's kind of grown and her suit's all ripped. I don't know. Not- like, I do like this Asuka design, it's just like for the first kind of quarter scale Asuka that's really coming out by Good Smile, it's kind of anticlimactic and I'm not obsessed with it. Um, and they're also doing it pop-up parade extra large of Rey with long hair. And again, like I know Fring's making the quarter scale Rey, which I've ordered, but I think I would have really, really liked both of these if they were just the Neon Genesis Evangelion, Asuka and Rey. I think that would have been really nice. I don't really know why they went for this design. Next up, we have another pop-up parade. This is a pop-up parade large, and it is from Future Eve. I don't know what the source material is on this one, but I am so in love with this design, it will be an instant pre-order. Since it is a pop-up parade large, it'll probably be in the like $80 to $100 range. So easy. I will easily buy this. I love my Vampire Miku I got from the pop-up parade large line. And this one is just such a cute design. It's so unique. Like Miku's eyes look so pretty. Like look at that. Ah, she's so cute. I know her hair is going to be like super annoying to display her because it's going to be huge. But honestly, it's worth it. She looks so adorable. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with everything about this figure. Just the vibe, her face. Mm, I can't wait to see her painted. I don't know if there's any source image, no. I'll have to try and find out where this is from because she's so cute. I love her design. I need to figure out who this illustrator is. Okay, guys. Next up, we're gonna talk about probably the most hype announcements for the majority of people, I would say, that I talk to at least. And it is the Satsuki and Mako one fourth scale bunny figures that finally have been announced by Freeing. We all know you guys have been asking for these two, or at least just Satsuki, um, for years and years and years since Ryuko's bunny has been out for a very, very long time. And finally, we have it the gorgeous Satsuki, who is it? I'm excited about her, don't get me wrong, but I'm much more excited about Mako. I don't talk about Mako as much because they just don't make figures of her ever. There's like one pop-up parade that I own and a Nendoroid. Um, but Mako is one of my favorite anime characters of all time. She is up there with Chika and Holo as like favorite best girls, okay? I fucking love Mako Makanchok. Obsessed with her. I love- oh my god, I love her so much. I just love her vibe. I just feel like I relate to her so much. I just am Mako, like in life. I just hype my friends, you know? I'm just kind of the like, hey, hey, having fun, happy-go-lucky kind of girl. And I love Mako. She's just like everything I want to be, you know? So I'm so happy that they're making her bunny. It does make me kind of want to go out and find Ry Ryuko's bunny because I feel like they're like, they're literally girlfriends. Like I should have them together, but I'm beyond excited. And I will be pre-ordering Mako no matter the cost because I'm desperate for a scale of her. I've been desperate for years. This was like such a hype announcement. I cannot wait to see the prototype. I hope it looks like this because she looks so freaking cute. I'm I'm beyond excited. I'm head over heels for this figure and she's not even painted or sculpted yet. So yeah, so excited. Free 
Whoa. Do you guys see that lightning? I hope I don't get a power outage. I'm gonna stop my recording right now and start it again just in case I get a power outage and this doesn't save. So freeing was kind of popping off, honestly, at this Wonder Festival. They had quite a few announcements I'm gonna talk about coming up here soon. But they did announce this figure. This is a B-style Yukata version, one-fourth scale from Slime. Uh, this is the girl with the pink hair, I believe. And it looks so cute. I'm obsessed. I'm so excited. Um, people are also excited in here. <laughs> but I'm so excited to see quarter scale Yukata figures because honestly, I love kimono and Yukata figures. So if they start doing like a whole line of them, I'm actually kind of screwed, honestly, because I will want to buy like all my favorite characters that I have as bunnies again, but in Yukata because I love Yukata, Yukata so much. So. I'm very excited about this announcement. I know, I know we only got a silhouette, but I'm just very excited about this new possibility. Next up, we have the power by Fat Company from Chainsaw Man. This power is honestly the best power I think I've seen so far. Um, I, I still like the bunny best that I own, but this is really cute and I love that Meowie's in it. And I love kind of the like more manga style graphics. I, I I'm. I'm excited about her. I think she looks really cute. I'd like to see her face up close. Face looks interesting. I think it's cute. But just so you guys know, if you do want to order her, Fat Company takes 1 million years to put out their figures and honestly their quality can be kind of meh a lot of the time. So tamper your expectations on this one. I think she's cute. Might be a wait till release kind of buy though. Uh, we got some more Lycoris Recoil. Uh, again, by Fat Company, they announced this kind of like artwork with like the oversized sweatshirt for both Takina and Chisato. So I'm very excited about these two. I think they're gonna be so cute. Hopefully they turn out cute. I will be pre-ordering them if they do because I'm obsessed with these two girlfriends. So what can I say? I love them. Katakawa had some interesting announcements, but my favorite was this one. I love like multiple character scales. So I think this one of Ai and Ruby and Aqua is really, really cute. It's so adorable, honestly. Mm, I love it. I love it. Oh my god. So I hope it turns out cute because I love more creative kind of multi-character figures like this. I just think I just think we need more of them and they add a lot of interest in the collection, you know? Whoa, the lightning is going crazy right now. Uh, we have a Toho Project Romelia Scarlet figure. This is by a artist that does a lot of garage kits, I believe, that people are obsessed with. Yeah. They, or, well, I think they have. Yeah, this was a garage kit originally. Yeah, and they've done a lot of other garage kits that people really like. Um, I love their like sculpting style and this one is so pretty. So I'm really excited that Apex decided to pick this up and make a figure of it. She's not really my style. I don't typically go for more gothic style figures, but I may make an exception for her because she is super, super pretty and very, I don't know, she's gorgeous. Um, and I love the, the bits of red and her like grayish blue hair and her kind of pouty face. She's super pretty. I'm really getting, I'm really getting reeled in by all these like kind of devil girls with the little wings recently. I don't know. It's, it's really hard not to, you know? Ooh, so we got this really, really, wait. This is a quarter scale? No. I did not know this figure was a quarter scale. Oh my God, wait, this changes literally everything. <gasps> okay, I wanted her cause I was like, oh, she's so cute. She'll look good with Solo Miku. Uh, this is the figure in question. But now that I know she's a quarter scale, she shot on my list immediately. I love quarter scale figures and this Miku is gonna be fucking gorgeous. No way she's quarter scale. <gasps> I wanna see her like compared to other figures. Ah, oh my God. Okay, well, I hope they make both of them because there's like in this illustration, there's like this one. It's the Fila collab. Um, and it's illustrated by Solwa, I believe. Or maybe Yoneyama Mai. We'll, we'll look in a second, but I hope they make both of these and then we can display them together as quarter scales. And oh my God, and it's stronger making this and stronger makes such pretty figures. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Okay, yeah, Yoneyama Mai is the illustrator. Oh my God. Oh my God, she's quarter scale. I didn't know she was quarter scale. I'm so excited now. Oh, okay. She's gonna be huge though with all that hair. Like uh, there was a aerial picture. Yeah, that's gonna be a nightmare with a quarter scale, but honestly, 
I'll cope. I need her now. Oh my god, I didn't know she was quarter scale. I'm so freaking excited now. She's gonna be so expensive. Oh my god. Uh, okay, next up we have a, another like Chris Recoil. Who would have thought? Uh, this one was announced by Katakawa, and it is a Chisato in a kimono. Obviously, I love it, and I will need it. Look at how pretty that kimono is. Oh, she's gonna look beautiful. I love kimono figures. I love Chisato, so we will be buying her. Uh, they also announced Chisato and Takina wedding dress figures. Aniplex announced these two. Uh, we'll probably pick these up because literally they're getting married. They are literally not even girlfriends anymore. They are wives. I love my little my little lesbian Takina and Chisato, and I will ship them till the day I die. They're literally canonical, and you cannot you cannot convince me otherwise. So don't even try. But it's literally their wedding. It's literally their wedding. I love it. I love it. They will be mine. <laughs> oh. Okay. Next up, we have one of the most hype announcements. And it is a freeing B-Style Hatsune Miku. There is already a B-Style Hatsune Miku that I own, uh, but they did announce this one and she's beautiful. It's a bit sexier than her other one, um, but wow, she looks so good. I love that she's kneeling. I like this one a lot more than the one I already have. <laughs> um, I like that she's kneeling. I love her face. I love her hair. The boots are slaying the outfit, slaying. I might need her. Although now that I found out that that other Miku is quarter scale, I'll prob I'm probably more partial to that one over this one, but this one is really pretty and I do love this one as well. Next up, we have This Beauty by Amakuni. It is a dark elf dancer original illustration. Again, just love, love me some, some melanin in the collection and I think this illustration is beautiful. So I'm excited to see where this one goes. We're, get we're getting near the end. Uh, another original character by Amakuni, Sarah. Uh, love made figures. Love the vibe of this one. I think she'll look super good with my um, Forty Hara Chitose made, where she's showing her panties and like making a disgusted face from that doujin. I think this one has a very similar vibe where she's kind of being like, what the fuck are you looking at? You know? So I really like that. I think she's super cute. I'm excited about her. Uh, we also got this announcement by Hobby Max of a couple more Vocaloid figures. So we have Megarine Luca, who rarely gets figures. So I'm excited for that. Uh, a Miku, and then a Rin and a Len, who also get woefully neglected by figure companies. So I'm so excited to see them. I love Rin and Len's outfits. They're so cute. So I'm very excited to see these scales and I will most likely be picking up them. Maybe picking up those two if they turn out nice, but the Rin and Len for sure. I'd love them for my Vocaloid kind of streetwear shelf. We also got a quarter scale Ruby Rose B style by Freeing. I will not be picking this up because it's going to be ginormous, but she looks freaking incredible and I'm glad Ruby's getting some love. So yeah, she's beautiful. There's no other photos of her. So yeah, but yeah, obsessed. Love her. Oh, Freeing also came out with this one. This is from Azur Lane. Azur Lane always slaying with the designs and Freeing carrying those designs out in beautiful quarter scale. Um, this girl is gorgeous. She's like a nurse kind of succubus with heart pupils, which if you guys don't know, I'm such a sucker for heart pupils. Like, look at how pretty she is. Ah, I love her. So I'm very excited to see her in painted form. Hopefully Freen gets her out quick because I'm obsessed with her design. Oh my God, she's so cute. And I'm such a sucker for heart pupils. So I know I'm gonna love her. Oh. Speaking of Rerudo, we have this figure. Um, she is pretty lewd, so I might put like a sticker on top of this part of the video, but look at how pretty. This one I might like more than the other Rerudo. I'm not 100% sure yet. Man, I, I am kind of obsessed with this one. This design is so cute. And I really like Pink Charm. I think they deliver pretty well on their figures, so I'm kind of tempted by this one. I really am. We also got this really cute original character um, called Ru Rurumu? 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 <laughs> I can't even speak. She looks super cute. Love her little apron. Love her heart. These devil girls are just killing me, you guys. Especially when their tails loop around and like make a heart as well. It's just, it's too cute. I'm obsessed. Uh, we got a few that I'm throwing in here. Nendoroid wise, just at the end. Uh, my fiance is very excited about the Rani Nendoroid. He is a big Dark Souls Elden Ring fan and Rani looks so cute. I think they did such a nice job on her Nendoroid, honestly. Like, look at that. Oh, she's so adorable. 
Uh, so he will definitely be picking her up or I'll buy her for him, we'll see. But she's, she's super cute, love that. And the one he was truly most excited about is the Painted Pot Boy. He was actually really hoping to see the Painted Pot Boy at One Hobby uh, in May when we were there, but Pot Boy was not painted yet at that time. But finally he has been, I think it's like Alexander Warrior Jar is his name. Yeah, um, Graham will be buying this because it's really freaking cute and I'm excited to see his accessories and stuff. They did honestly such a nice job on this. But why are these Elden Ring Nendoroids so expensive? Like all of Max Factories, like Elden Ring Dark Souls, etc. Nendoroids are so expensive. I got him um, the Onion Knight one for, I, I think I just bought it for him because I liked it and he wanted it. So I just bought it as a gift. Um, and it was like $80, it was like 8,000 yen. And it does not have that many accessories. I don't know why these ones, uh, the, the the company that makes them, like makes the video games must just have like a really high licensing fee or something. I don't know. Um, as for Nendoroid dolls, we got the uh, Persona 5 Joker Nendoroid doll. I think he's freaking adorable. I love him. <laughs> he's so cute. Oh my God, I love him. I don't need him. I don't need him. I don't, I swear I don't, but I want him. We also got Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. I think this is the cutest Nendoroid I've ever seen in my life, to be honest. To be quite honest with you guys, he's way too cute. Look, look at him! Oh my god, I love him. So yeah, I'm sure a lot of people are very excited about him because he looks freaking adorable. Then we have one uh, my friend was very excited about, the Hisoka Nendoroid. He does look really cool. Um, I, I am shocked that there wasn't one before now. Like, what took them so long? I don't know, but I'm glad that there is a Hisoka now for all of you Hisoka fans. And they are re-releasing -re a bunch of the Nendoroids from Hunter x Hunter, so that's also very exciting. Where's my boy Leorio though? Leorio doesn't give get, get enough love, okay? Come on, I'm a Leorio stan. Like, give me some more Leorio merch, please. I'm dying for it. Uh, we also had a couple announcements from Dokyusei, which I believe is classmates in English. Um, it's a short film and a manga, I believe. I watched it, I loved it. So I'm excited to see their Nendoroids. I'm ex I'm interested to see how this art style translates to Nendoroid form. It's gonna be interesting for sure. I'm, I'm intrigued. And finally, finishing it off on a very, very welcome note with the Holo Nendoroid doll. I'm trying to convince myself I don't need her because I have the Holo Nendoroid and I have a Holo doll, the Harmonia Humming one. So like, there's literally no reason for me to want this, but she's so fucking cute that I want it. I don't need her. I don't need her. I don't need her. I will say though, I think that this must be based on the new um, Spice and Wolf anime because the face looks slightly different than the Nendoroid that I have of her, which I think is more like anime based, so there's that but I think she's so cute and I want her but I shouldn't buy her but I want her all right so I hope you all enjoyed this video I know it was probably very long so thank you for sticking around if you made it this far uh, if you enjoyed this video please consider leaving a like uh, subscribing if you really enjoyed it and please comment down below which announcements you're most excited about I'd love to hear if there are any I missed I know there's tons that I missed so please I'd love to start a discussion down in the comments about all of the exciting announcements um, as always, thank you all so much for watching, and thank you so much to all of my patrons over on Patreon, especially to my Chica Tier patrons over on Patreon, Zen Nezu, Remember June, Melinda, JP, Retro Richie, Styrak, and Leon Blade. Thank you all so much for your support. It means the world. As always, I hope you all have a very, very, very wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!